early. Tennessee, another challenger. Obviously, Georgia being the alpha in the SEC East. Their opportunity is Georgia at home this year. They got Joe Milton, probably the mo- one of the most talented quarterbacks in this conference. Big-ass arm. We saw what he did in the Orange Bowl last year. They also return Jabari Small and Jalen Wright in the backfield. They're probably the most underrated duo, I think, running back duo in the country. 1,600 yards, 23 touchdowns last year. And then they return their leading tackler with Aaron Beasley, as well as two wide receivers that didn't get a lot of time last year because they were behind Cedric Tillman and they were behind Jalen Hyatt being Brew McCoy and Squirrel White, two guys we saw in the Orange Bowl completely ball out. So they got a lot of talent. Um, a lot of young talent, but again, Georgia, it, it's it, it's going to be the game of the year probably at Tennessee. They're going to be going crazy there in Neyland. Um, What do you think about this Tennessee team this year? I think if they win 10 games, 9 to 10 games, it's still a W season for Josh Heupel because what he's doing right now, he's kind of he's kind of in the beginning stages. I don't want to say of Kirby Smart and what Georgia's doing, but he's in the beginning stages of of kind of being that dynasty, not dynasty, but that team that's always going to contend for the top in the SEC. Yeah, you know, um, it kind of brings you back to when uh, Tennessee and Florida back in the early 90s or the late 90s, early 2000s were kind of going head-to-head or uh, Georgia uh, Georgia and Florida back kind of like mid-2000s to late 2010s. Um, mm-hmm. It's kind of now turning into that like Georgia, Tennessee, Georgia, Tennessee, who's going to do it? Who's going to do it? However, obviously right now, Georgia's up here. Tennessee's trying to catch him, Right. Josh Heupel has done a really good job on the recruiting trail. Shout out to Nico Amaliaba. I hope I didn't butcher your name. Um, but That's pretty good. That's at pretty the end good. of the day, like they're doing a good job recruiting not like by coastal. They're getting to the West Coast. They're getting guys from California. Um, they're doing a good job, obviously in the Fertile South, in, in terms of recruiting. Um, I think Joe Milton is going to surprise some people. I think he's going to put up ridiculous numbers. Um, I think one of the best things that happened to Joe Milton was the fact that he was the backup last year. He had a chance to watch and learn under Hendon Hooker and watch Hendon Hooker, not only what he did right, what he did wrong, um, reads, and in that Josh Heupel offense, that blur offense, and them being able to get out there with the wide splits with their receivers, creating matchups, one-on-one matchups with the DBs. I think that Joe Milton and his arm strength is going to be able to fit the ball into certain windows that maybe Hendon Hooker didn't have the opportunity to do last year. So it'll be interesting to see how Joe Milton progresses like you said, had a really good Orange Bowl game. Was a little like was a little inconsistent in those intermediate throws. When you have a big arm, it can be hard to kind of take something off, throw with a little bit of touch. But man, he can throw the deep ball probably better than anybody in the country. Um, probably has the strongest arm we've ever seen. Um, so um, I heard a report that he threw the ball. This is a report that he threw the ball ninety plus yards. Whether that's true or not, nobody knows. But like I said, the man has a strong that's arm. Ridiculous. If he's able to be accurate, again, hearsay. But well, he, the man threw an orange. Accurate. I think he threw an orange like 150 yards or whatever. I think that orange that's still not, might be in the air. I don't even know. Yeah, I think the orange is actually orbiting. <laughs> um, but just like with Jalen Milrow from Alabama, are you going to be able to be consistent and accurate in the intermediate passing game? It's really what it is. We shall see. 